Okay, so good morning to all of you. Uh, we have discussed in this unit about the microbial nutrients and nutrition. So the topic what we have discussed is microbial nutrition and nutrients. Okay, then we have discussed basic nutritional requirement. Basic nutritional requirement of bacteria. Okay, so we have discussed microbial nutrition and nutrients basic nutritional requirement of bacteria. Then third, we have discussed nutritional classification. Nutritional classification. That is classification of bacteria on the basis of nutritional requirements. How bacteria can be classified on the basis of nutritional requirement or on, on other um, words we can say types of bacteria on the basis of nutritional requirements that we have discussed. Then we have discussed about the media that is culture media. Culture media, different types of culture media, right? Principle and function. Principle and function. What do you mean by culture medium? So we have discussed what is culture and then what is culture media. Then we have discussed what are the different types of culture media, principle of culture media and function of each media. Okay, so uh, today we are talking about number one, how to prepare culture media that is preparation of culture media how to prepare culture media then and its sterilization and its sterilization we will discuss this method or this process sterilization in the coming unit in detail different type of sterilization what is sterilization the purpose of sterilization each and every aspect and this method is uh, is uh, how it is related to uh, microbiological technique as well as to in day to day life so we will discuss how to prepare culture media then preparation of Preparation of media plates, media plates, and media tubes, which includes D para, also known as butt, and slats. Right, so depaga, butt, and slats. How to prepare media plates and depaga and deep and slats. Then, third, pure culture techniques. Okay, so the learning objective of today's lecture is how the media is prepared in the laboratory, right, in general and specifically bacterial media, how to sterilize the media, then how to prepare the media plates, or the media what we have prepared, how to prepare the media plates, how to prepare the deep agar or butt and slats. What does it mean slats, deep agar? Then third is pure culture techniques, right? Concept, 
and technique so the learning outcome will be you will be able to prepare the media you will be able to splice the media you will be able to make the media plates deep agar and slurge in the laboratory and thus you will be able to isolate the bacteria for its identification is in method se aap ye seekh jayenge ki bacteria ko lab mein kaise isolate karte hain kisi media pe kitne tarike ki media plates se tubes banayi jati hain और आप उसको कैसे आइसोलेट करते हैं फॉर फर्दर आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक हाउ टू प्रिपेयर कल्चर मीडिया इन केस ऑफ एनी टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम सी आर कैन कंफर्म मी ओ दैट यू आर एबल टू सी द स्लाइड एंड एम आई ऑलरेडी right so uh, now let us suppose uh, it is asked to prepare the media in the laboratory the first thing is uh, selection of selection of media selection of media means the requirement of media which type of media you want to prepare what does it mean it means uh, what we have discussed in categorization of media or types of media we have discussed that media may be solid it may be liquid so first thing you have to check what type of media i have to prepare what is our requirement it is solid medium that is nutrient agar medium nutrient agar medium i have to prepare nutrient agar medium or second is i have to prepare a nutrient broth that is liquid medium now what does it mean matlab mujhe ye kaise pata chalega ki mujhe solid banana hai ya liquid banana hai it depends actually on the purpose of your work what what type of uh, cultivation what you are doing so if you want to grow the bacteria in a liquid medium which is in a large volume then you will take nutrient broth and then you have to ultimately grow the bacteria onto the plate for identification for enumeration for storage you will prepare agar media so generally we prepare both type of media in the laboratory nutrient agar and nutrient broth okay i am talking about general purpose media no point is i am talking about general purpose medium not the selective cultivation abhi hum log sir जनरल पर्पज मीडिया बनाने की बात कर रहे हैं तब मेथोडोलॉजी विल बी सेम फॉर सेलेक्टिव कम डिफरेंशियल मीडिया एज वेल नाउ फर्स्ट इज द रूट पॉइंट इज सेलेक्ट द अप्रोप्रिएट मीडिया बॉक्स आपको मैंने पीपीटी में शो किया था द मीडिया बॉक्स रिटर्न नैम रिटर्न न्यूट्रिय ड्रॉ तो फर्स्ट चेक आर यू टेकिंग द राइट बॉक्स और नॉट now you have taken a box right and which is basically a nutrient agar medium right it is a box or maine aapko pehle bataya tha procured from hai media company aapke paas ye media ki box hai which was procured from hai media company then you will find different uh, sections where where your information is given on to the box the 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 left hand side you will find the composition of the box right what are what ingredients are added into the box means this folder is containing peptone tryptone yeast extract nacl etc so you will find ingredients ingredients or composition aap yahan par composition dekhenge then here it is written directions directions means yahan pe likha hoga how to prepare the media then will then there is information about the uh, expiry date of the media then property of the media that like it is hygroscopic in nature is if you open the cap it will take moisture and it will get solidified 
right? So information are given on the, the media. So you have to first read it carefully. The so very important is how to prepare the media. Okay, then you have to follow the directions written onto the box. So let us suppose it is written that. I am coming to the next page. It is written 33 grams of powder in one liter of water, distilled water. Say, let us suppose it is written 13 grams of powder in 1000 ml distilled water. It is written dissolve 33 grams. आप को dissolve करना है 33 gram of powder in 1000 ml distilled water. So it is a standard uh, directions. If you have to prepare 1000 ml or one liter, then you will take 33 gram. Now, as per your requirement, you will calculate the amount of the powder. Fine. Now let us suppose it is asked prepare. 100 ml nutrient agar media. It is asked in the laboratory to prepare 100 ml nutrient agar media. Then obviously, what you will take? What you will do? You will take 3.3 gram because 33 gram in 1000 ml. So for 100 ml, it will be 3.3 gram. Now what you will do? You will weigh. 3.3 gram powder, right? In using weighing balance, and appropriate SOP will follow. Then you will dissolve this 3.3 gram in distal water, but not in 100 ml. You will take volume of distal water less than 100 ml. I will I will tell you why. So what you are doing, you are say taking 80 ml distilled water. So add 3.3 gram of water in 80 ml of distilled water. So say say you have a conical flask. Okay, it is having this distilled water, right? And you will add. 3.3 gram water. Then dissolve by mixing probably eating. So you have to completely dissolve the powder in the distilled water. So here in this case, no point is the media what you are using, it may be vegetative, it may be of animal origin. What does this mean? It means the peptone or the, the beef extract which is present in the medium. So beef extract is of animal origin. It may be of plant origin and if, if it is a, a, a of plant origin, you will find written on the box high wedge in case of high media company, it is written high wedge. wedge. So if, if the nutrients are taken from the plant origin, it will be written wedge. So generally what happens the media containing nutrients from animal origin is difficult to dissolve. So it will dissolve only after proper heating. So dissolve completely by mixing and heating and note that all the powder has been dissolved. So how you will confirm it? You will tilt the flask. You will tilt the flask. Say this is the flask. This is the flask. You will tilt and observe that is any powder is stick onto the wall of inner wall of the flask or not. Asa to nahi ki powder inner wall of flask means stick ho raha hai. Agar stick ho raha hai, it means it is not dissolved completely. So generally we do, 
we use microwave for heating and the purpose is to completely dissolve it to make it a clear solution okay now what is happening in this case the volume of water the distilled water you have taken it will be evaporated because of heating but you don't know how much volume is evaporated what we will observe is that we have got a we will get a clear solution then allow to cool but but above 45 degree centigrade what does it mean if you allow to cool below 45 degree the media gets solidified right so you have to maintain the temperature above 45 means you will allow to cool above 45 it just become lukewarm and then you will check this is very important step check ph and adjust accordingly check ph and adjust accordingly so this is important step check ph on to the box you will find in direction keep the ph of the media 7.4 plus minus 0.2 okay now what does it mean it means you have to maintain the ph of the media 7.4 which is somewhat alkalophilic uh, al alkaline and it will allow the growth of all type of bacteria except acidophiles so generally we are going or we are interested in growing the bacteria which are which will grow in this ph range but if you don't ad adjust the ph of the media what will happen it the ph may get acidic or the, or, or the may, may, the ph may be acidic making the medium acidic and the bacteria will not grow so this is the important step to maintain the ph so you will check ph and adjust accordingly means you have to take one normal sol uh, uh, annual solution or as per standard protocol of adjusting the ph once the ph get adjusted then you will make up the volume of distilled water up to 100 ml we call it as a add 100 ml total volume of the media that we want to prepare is 100 ml right we want to prepare 100 ml of nutrient agar medium but while heating the medium the volume of water will get down and you don't know how much water is evaporated so you are not actually adding the difference of the volume you are adding the wa uh, water up to 100 ml so here it means let us suppose this is the flask and this is the medium or here it is written the volumes okay so let's say say 10 20 30 40 50 mm. likewise and say it is 100 so irrespective what is the volume of your volume is level pe hai yahan par hai कितना भी है आपको नहीं देखना यू विल एड द डिस्टल वाटर टू मेक इट 100 एम सो यू विल एड डिस्टल वाटर टू मेक द फाइनल वॉल्यूम 100 एम राइट नाउ द मीडियम हैज बीन प्रिपेयर देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल टू प्लग द opening uh, that will learn more in uh, laboratory this is known as plugging and we do this plugging using the cotton plugs we do the 
the plugging of the plug which is cotton plug and the idea is to block this open so that micro will not get enter into the glass right but air can pass through it but it will filter the bacteria so you will then plug it and then ultimately wrap it using a paper and then you tie it it is it comes under the topic wrapping and plugging and wrapping of the glass wares isko aap sikhenge laboratory mein ya lab jab main technique sikhaunga so how to wrap or how to plug the glass wares so you will wrap it okay now yahan pe main ye bhi samajh leta hu ki why i am doing this right why i am doing this because i don't want to get the air inside that glass which is having containing microorganisms right so once i have prepared it i will plug it because in the next step i am going for sterilization when media is ready it is plugged it is wrapped then i will go for sterilization i will sterilize it i will make this medium sterilized and this will be done using a machine called as autoclave and a process known as autoclaving will keep the temperature 120 degree centigrade pressure will be 15 psi and time will be 15 to 20 minutes right so this is the this, this is the standard condition to sterilize a media or glass wares so what we do will will take this glass into the autoclave and style at this conditions we'll will uh, uh, discuss later on how to autoclave is means what is the sop note point yahan par ab aapko ek cheez aur samajhna hai what is the standard operating procedure of autoclave standard operating procedure of autoclave so you can note it down we'll discuss later on what is the sop of autoclave now once the media is prepared right uh, you will take it out from the autoclave and this is media is now completely sterilized and since you are uh, taking it out to the autoclave hence you have plugged it and wrapped it jisse ki koi contamination na ho aur ab aapke paas jo ye media hai this will be known as sterile media this will be called as sterile media right new point is the inside of the flask is completely sterile but outside the flask including this mouth part it may get contaminated by your hand or air right but inside the flask it is completely sterile so what you will do you will take this flask in laminar air flow means you will not open the flask anywhere you will open this flask in laminar air flow here you will follow a septic conditions a septic condition that i was talking about a uh, watch virtual lab right how to follow a septic conditions it means you have to open this conical flask right following a septic or sterile conditions to avoid contaminations now ultimate idea is you have already sterilized likewise uh, you will also sterilize glass wares that is a petri plates and test tubes aap isi tarike se petri plates aur test tubes ko bhi sterilize kar lenge right and now what you will do you will actually pour this media right you will pour this media on to 
the battery plate right now load point is depending upon the diameter of the battery plate the volume of media to be added is identical okay so generally 25 to 30 ml media is added depending upon the this volume of the petri plate and it will be allowed to solidify note this is nutrient agar medium this is nutrient agar medium likewise you will pour this media in a test tube test tube right kept in a vertical condition and allow to solidify Uh, i am showing here only one plate yeah, i am showing here one tube you will make it in two packet at least or more than one copies you can make it in copies as well likewise we will also add a pour this media onto the into the test tube and then keep it at slant condition and then allow to solidify depending upon the volume of test tube you will add this media right so so generally 3 to 5 ml media is added into the test tube then allow to solidify and you are doing complete this process in laminar air flow and you are following all strike conditions right now after solidification of media what you will get is this is the petri plate containing this media right this is media and this is called as media plate this is containing nutrient agar media this is called as media plate means petri plate containing solid media media plate likewise the test tube containing this media like this way in a vertical this is known as deep agar or but and the another test tube that you have prepared and kept it in a slant condition here the media will solidify like this and this is will be this is called as slant slant media now what you have prepared you have prepared media plate using style media you have prepared deep agar and but and you have prepared slant this will be used for the isolation and maintenance of bacteria आप इस प्लेट पे बैक्टीरिया को आइसोलेट करेंगे या मेंटेन करेंगे लाइक वाइज इसमें भी आप बैक्टीरिया को मेंटेन करेंगे हाउ यू विल कल्टीवेट वो हम सीखेंगे बट यू विल यूज दीज प्लेट्स एंड टेस्ट यू फॉर द मेंटेन कल्टीवेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ बैक्टीरिया राइट सो एनी क्वेरी up to this you can ask to me any query if you have any query you can ask to me uh, we have discussed how to prepare the media slicing 
and then pouring onto the plate and tube. So if you have any query, you can ask. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, how do you adjust the pH if it's not within the range? Uh, this uh, you have already studied in chemistry. You have to prepare the alkaline solution now. Now, first thing is you have to check with what is the pH of the media. For checking the pH of the media, you will use pH paper or pH meter machine, right? So, in instrumentation and in, in uh, other lab, you will you uh, you will learn how to prepare the how how, how you will how to adjust the pH using pH meter. So, you pH meter use kar rahe honge, yeah, you can use pH paper, right? So, using pH first check the pH of the medium whether it is acidic or alkaline. If it is acid, then you will add one normal so annual solution which is already prepared right and by adding drop by drop and checking again mixing and checking the pH or you can use pH meter right you will check the pH and add alkali if it is alkaline if it is more than 7.4 say you will add weak acids right so you will use alkali or weak acid to adjust the pH accordingly. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Any other query? Sir, why yeah. we why we put uh, the next test tubes in slant? Uh, this we will learn while maintenance of bacteria. अब हम इसके बाद जो topic पढ़ेंगे वो पढ़ेंगे कि how to inoculate the bacteria or how to cultivate or grow the bacteria hum bacteria ko kaise grow kare agar abhi tak to humne media ke plate banayi hai tube banayi hai humne bana li hai but hum hum aage padhenge ki how we will grow the bacteria right and what are the different maintenance methods ab jab hum maintenance padhenge tab hame samajh mein aayega ki hum iska kya use kar rahe hain here in this case for your information right uh, we have a specific a special uh, inoculation tube which is made up of nichrome right which is made up of nichrome and it has a loop right this is a we call it as inoculating we call it as a inoculating loop because it has a loop right and this loop is uh, 2 to 4 mm 2 mm or 4 mm in diameter. This loop diameter is 2 mm or 4 mm. It is made up of alloy and nichrome. Likewise, same. If if there is no loop, if, if there is a straight wire like this way, we call it as a inoculating needle. This is called an inoculating needle, right? So uh, we use these needle after sterilization. After sterilization means we do the cleaning and take the culture and then we pass the culture into the test tube vertically straight likewise and move it up. Likewise in this case we do a streaking like this way moving zigzag like this way. So what we are doing we are actually passing the bacterial culture right into the test tube in a deep agar straight and in slant slick tie like this way what will happen after proper incubation the bacteria will grow on the line of inoculation and here in this case on the line of streaking we will find colony since there is a more surface area you will get more colonies here in, in this case you will find growth of bacteria as a thread like structure 
right these are the basically used for maintenance of bacteria after inoculation after incubation once the growth is observed you will keep it at low 4 degree centigrade for further use right so in this case since you will get colonies uh, when there will be use of any any experiment you want to take the colony you can pick up single colony and then you, you can do the further study so that will learn how to do the inoculation means culturing and subculturing that will learn yeah any other query if you have any query go no. okay so today we have discussed we have discussed about how to ab humne aaj jo sikha wo dekha ki kaise media prepare karna now note point is irrespective it is solid media liquid media general purpose media selective media differential media selective cum differential media enrichment any type of media you will prepare the media likewise what i have given you the process but you will check the directions means how much gram is to be dissolved in how much liter of distilled water right again one more note point is always check how to sterilize it because in some cases media may contain heat labile substances heat sensitive substances and it can get degrade at high temperature at this temperature autoclaving so for that purpose you have to use different sterilization methods so always read carefully the directions of preparing the media written onto the box so we have prepared the media then we have sliced the media then we have prepared the plates tubes so this is completely a practical aspect then in coming lecture next lecture we'll discuss how to grow the bacteria how to get the pure culture of a bacteria and how to maintain means pure culture technique and maintenance of bacterial culture right uh, i will suggest you to read practical book of prescott i have shared with you or already shared with you then visit virtual lab right so that you can understand the concept of media preparation cultivation maintenance right clearly on the basis of its practical aspect because there will be a gap for example how to wrap the glassware how to plug the glassware and what is the significance of wrapping and plugging how to autoclave it how to handle the machine right these are the some gaps so you will learn in practical so i will share some more virtual labs so that you can understand Uh, the instrumentation techniques behind this theory so i am taking this topic which is common both in basic biotechnology as well as in microbiology in basic biotechnology also there is a nutrition classification cultivation and in microbiology also there is same topic so i am taking both call any doubt any query you can ask me you can raise your hand hoping that all students are attending the classes and and you must assure that you will attend the classes because your attendance will be shared and if you are not attending the class you may be in trouble yeah any doubt any query you can ask koi baat na samajh mein aayi ho kisi ko koi query ho and you can note the points jahan pe aapko samajh na aaya ho because you will learn later on in detail yani ki jaise box hai what is written on a nutrient agar medium you can even visit the sites you maine aapko suggest kiya tha you can uh, download the culture media right which is available as a pdf file of hi media you can download you can see the picture of a nutrient agar medium or any medium box what is written on to the medium so that you can understand uh, 
what are the direction, what is the composition, what is the function of the media, it is all available onto the box. Yeah, any doubt? Yeah. So, yeah. so in slant and deep agar, only uh, the composition would be same, only the surface area is uh, like uh, changing. So what is the significance of using both of them? Like, what would be the uh, further results from that you'll get? I mean, only okay. the composition is same, only just it is tilted to 45 degree and solidified, nothing else. Yeah, okay. So uh, we are actually using the same media, but the method of maintenance is different, actually. We are actually uh, pouring the media. The question actually is uh, why we are pouring the media onto the plates and on the tubes and in more than one type of tube. Why don't only one? one method is followed, right? Uh, media is same, but you are uh, preparing plates, tubes, and tubes in uh, deep agar and slants. The purpose behind this is the maintenance of the bacterial culture. Now, the petri plate, which has a more surface area, when you open the petri plate, and it will expose more, and the chances of contamination may be more, even though you are using in laminar air flow. So for routine work, if you want to do any experiment on microorganisms, say for example, it is asked, do the staining, right? So you will take a single colony and then do the cultivation and do the staining. So you will use Petri plate. So Petri plate will be used more and it comes under short term preservation methodology, which is generally maintained for some days to weeks means the, the 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 point is once the bacteria is grown onto the plate how much time we can mean preserve it or we can keep it at four degree right so it is for from from days to weeks only this is short term maintenance in case of slant right the Bacteria colony will object and you will take the colonies easily. That's why you are making slant. But in both slant and deep agar, since the bacteria is not exposed to the open area, and since in deep agar specifically, you are growing the bacteria inside the medium. And when there is a low oxygen, the multiplication or the growth of bacteria gets slow. आप फोर डिग्री पे क्यों रख रहे हैं मीडिया को यानी कि कल्चर को या आपने डीप अगर क्यों फॉलो किया रीजन ये था कि इससे बैक्टीरिया की ग्रोथ जो है वो स्लो हो जाए और वो काफी लंबे समय तक मेंटेन किया जा सके सो इट कम्स अंडर द मेंटेनेंस एस्पेक्ट अगेन अब जो आपने स्लांट बनाया है या जो आपने डीप अगर बनाया इसमें भी आगे हम कुछ और टेक्निक सीखेंगे जिससे कि हम इसको आगे लंबे समय तक मेंटेन कर सके सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द process what we are following the maintenance or the preservation of the bacterial culture is categorized as short term preservation method mid term preservation method and long term preservation method so ultimately what we have prepared will more learn in the under the topic maintenance of bacterial culture the significance of uh, growing the bacteria in different technique likewise we'll also use different methods for anaerobic bacteria we are talking about aerobic bacteria here so we'll follow different methods for anaerobic. So these are all methods to preserve the bacterial culture right, in a pure form, in a viable form for a given period. Yeah. Any other query? Okay, so you, if you don't have any query, I'm closing class, class and we'll uh, discuss cultivation of bacteria uh, okay, note point one more note point is uh, method you have followed nutrient agar medium ke same you will follow for nutrient broth. Same, but in case of nutrient broth, you will keep it in test tube only. You will not use petri plates because a nutrient broth will remain liquid. So you will not use petri plate, you will use test tube only. We'll learn tomorrow. What is the purpose of using broth and how the bacteria can be cultivated and maintained? Okay. So if you don't have any query, I'll close the class. Okay.
थैंक यू